Hello YouTube, this is an Ace Review, and today I'm looking at a game called Octodad, Dadliest Catch. In this game, you play as an octopus disguised as a human, and nobody suspects a thing. Not even his wife and kids. Right off the bat, the first thing I have got to say about this basic setup for the game is that it will be probably generating a lot of Rule 34 material from Japan. Moving on from the dirty jokes, I will say that this game is filled with a good, lot of good clean humor and some internet references. The guys who wrote the lines for the characters did a really good job and deserve a round of applause. Advancing from the basics of the story and the dialogue, the game itself is centered around difficult controls and frustration. It is a very unusual setup that follows in the footsteps of Quop and Surgeon Simulator. Considering that we have a small but growing number of popular little games centered around deliberately difficult controls, I think it is time we acknowledge them as their own genre. From now on, I'm going to start calling these games the controller genre. You play this game by controlling the various limbs of Octodad, moving him around as best as you can. You have the options for mouse and keyboard or a full game controller, and you can do co-op with players by sharing limbs uh, and which limb they will control. Having tried both mouse and keyboard and the controller setups, I have to say the controller is easier on this game, and more intuitive. It really is the ideal way to play this, but no matter what setup you choose, the game does have disorienting uh, controls regardless. It is an entertaining experience to say the least, and there are a few things though that uh, some people will not like. For a start, however, the game is extremely short, only a handful of hours long at most. In addition to this, some people have voiced their concerns about the fact that the game has stealth sections toward the end. But personally, I found these to be very easy. And if you're going for the 100% completion, I can say that there are at least some achievements and secrets to be found, so it'll keep you going a little while after you've beaten it, I guess. It is, at the very least, a game I can recommend to some people, primarily to those who've got a good sense of humor and especially those who liked Co-op or Surgeon Simulator. Other than that, though, there isn't really this, that much to say about this title. I would suggest picking it up because I enjoyed it. Uh, that's about it, though. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Peace out.